All right, folks, this is Fat Guy Flies RC. We're out here at the Avon Park Field. We're going to be taking up the Arrow, the, not the Arrow, the MPD, MPD Commander, which is a uh, uh, 20s and 30s pylon racer, if my history's right. And I uh, haven't flown this plane in a quite a while, so bear with me. Take off flaps into the wind. I'm running an HRB 3300 three cell in her. Yeah, she needs a little bit of trim. Like I said, I haven't flown this bird in quite a while. And I'm coming in awfully hot. Yeah, well, that was not a good land or a good landing there. Let's try this again. I do like the uh, red and white checks. It does make it easier to see. Not too bad. Not too bad. Let's see if we can't get a little bit more of a shallower approach, then come in with no flaps. Not too bad, not too bad. Should have been on the uh, pavement for a little further back, of course. Starting to get the kinks worked out of her. Okay, we'll do, we'll try this with takeoff flaps this time. See if we can't improve. Much, much better. All right, much, much better. This time we'll do full flaps and we'll use takeoff flaps. This is another plane that, for whatever reason, it intimidates me. I know I shouldn't let planes intimidate me, but sometimes certain planes, especially low wings, oh, that's beautiful. That's just, see, practice, practice, practice. This is what you have to do. A little squirrely takeoff, but. But when you don't fly a plane very often, you, what you just need to do is get her out 
obviously get her out. But get her out. All right. Get her out and fly her. Get her out and fly her. The only way you're going to get comfortable with a plane is just to flyer, flyer, flyer. Now, see, I I'm like this. You say, well, you've got 65, 70 planes. Yeah, I do. And the way I look at it, I'm set to, fl to fly for the rest of my life. <laughs> as long as the FAA doesn't shut us down. Oh, that wasn't bad at all. Let's turn around here, take off in the other direction. Get up over the sun. Landing flap. Let's see if we can't grease ourselves a landing. I think we can do it. What do you think, folks? Am I setting myself up for failure by saying that? I don't think I am. All right, I'll take that all day. How much time we got? Minute 16? Well, let's go for it one more time. One more time. You know I got to do it. One more time. And just so you know, folks, when, when I'm on the sticks, I'm a thumbs, not a pincher. Yeah, I'm a thumbs, not a pincher. Uh, I have a little bit of arthritis in a lot of my fingers. Yeah, I'll do it one more time, I know. <laughs> I have arthritis in a lot of my fingers, and but not in my thumbs. So, the good Lord has seen fit to spare my thumbs the arthritis. So, that works out wonderful for me. Come in a little hot, but that's okay. Oh, that wasn't good. I wasn't thinking about what I was doing. I was talking about my thir talking about moth rodus in my fingers. So I gotta do it one more time. I mean, I have a a bigger battery than uh, than what it calls for. I think 3200 is the biggest, and this is a 3300. So, I think I'll be okay. I think I'll survive. Don't turn it before you land. <laughs> Try to turn the plane before I even land. All right, one more time again. I'm gonna tear this landing gear up if I'm not careful. And just so you know, that's brand new landing gear. <laughs> now the skirts are not new, but the metal in the wheels, there, that's new. Oh yeah, now that's the way to end it right there. Well folks, that is the E-Flight MPD Commander. I want to thank you for watching. 
and uh, subscribe. If you're my one of my subscribers, I'm a regular viewers. Thank you so much for supporting my channel. And uh, here's the sound you want to hear when you before you end your flight or before you before you pick it up. Motor off. Motor off. That's what you want, folks. Remember, worst thing to do is to come out and fly and then have to rush to the emergency room because you lopped off a fingertip because you were stupid and impatient. <laughs>